I have yet to understand why there isn't a pre-workout flavor of the apple strudel variety. Hello and welcome to the second edition of Mud Turtle's product review of fitness supplementation. We are back to the supplement company of none other than Bettencourt, being that they've given me free supplements, of course. And today we will be doing the pre-workout of Bull Knox to find out if it's bullshit or bull not shit. Either way, quick rundown of the ingredients. Typical. Now remember, there's calories in this, so you need to track it, something I forgot to do. Either way, caffeine, beta alanine, creatine monohydrate, nitric oxide includes beetroot, L-tyrosine, L-histidine, all the typical deans, nothing to see here. Let's get to the good stuff, shall we? All right, so as you can see, not as uh, psychedelic as the D Stunner, but don't count it out just yet. That doesn't, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so just like the last review, We'll do taste, activation, training, length of effect, come down, and overall rating. So first off, the taste. The taste is actually, as opposed to DeSunner, the taste is very bearable and it's actually pretty good. I had the fruit punch. It's like, uh, it's kind of like putting three quarters of the, you know, amount of Kool-Aid or whatever that's recommended for a certain serving. So it's kind of like a faint taste. But it, uh, it's not bad by any means. It's just not like full kick flavor. But I mean, it's a pre-workout, so it does pretty good. Um, so that, that's definitely a strong point is the taste. Very bearable. Didn't even need a Mio or anything like that. Activation. Now, see, this is where it differs from the ones that I like, personally. This is a more clean come up. And it, it, it doesn't give you the cracked out feeling. I love the cracked out feeling. I listen to dubstep. I listen to EDM. I rock out. I like the cracked out feeling. That's just me. Personally... If you, you know, so if you like a cleaner energy, a cleaner come up, this one's for you. Uh, it's about 20, 30 minutes before you really start to feel it. But there, it's, like I said, it sneaks up on you because it's not like, ugh, cracked out. But, you know, so not a bad thing, just different. The training, this is where I go into the one bad thing I can say. I did feel a little bit weaker on the Bull Knox as opposed to D-Stunner. Uh, I don't know if that's from the placebo effect that the cracked outness causes me. However, I did honestly feel a little bit weaker, you know, maybe a couple pounds each lift on the, uh, on the bull knocks. However, the pump, blood rush into the muscles felt great. Um, the length of the uh, bull knocks, it carried me all the way through my workout, didn't crash beforehand or whatever. And that brings me to the next good point of this stuff. There is no crash. You know, just like, you know, the cracked out pre-workouts usually give you that hard crash, cause and effect. This one, clean come up, clean come down. And that's, a lot of people will like that. So no jitters, you don't feel like crap afterwards. You feel good, you can carry on and actually do other things in your day, unlike some of the pre-workouts. So there's a there's a positive there for sure. Come, come, the come down is probably the one thing I could really say is really awesome about this product. So overall rating, I'm gonna give this one four turtle shells out of five. And uh, so, needless to say, it's a really good pre-workout. Not something I would, I would make my go-to. However, there's going to be a lot of people who prefer this one over the cracked out ones that I like. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, rate it on a open mind as opposed to just, you know, saying, oh, because I wouldn't use it, I'm going to give it a two. No, it's a good pre-workout for sure. You may prefer it. Give it a shot. So that's a review. And now, as is new tradition, I'm going to show you a little bit of the footage that I took while using the blue box. <laughs> 